Ebesit Kata, Etwa Ost. Maras Kata! Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further. Solus. That should give us more time. I suspect you have questions. The Kunari believe you're an agent for someone who has taken the name Fen Harel. The Kunari reject myth and legend. If you told them of your meeting with Mithor, they would attribute it to a demon. I am no one's agent but my own. I fear that the truth is much simpler and much worse than the Canari believe. You're Fen Harel. I was soulless first. Fen Harel came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dread Wolf inspired hope in my friends and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. You also know the burden of a title that all but replaces your name. You lied about everything! I understand your anger. In your position, I would share it. You're really him. I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fen Harel, and when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Thus, I freed the Elven people, and in so doing, destroyed their world. You love the Fae. Why would you create the veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Had I not created the veil, the Evanuris would have destroyed the entire world. Uh, how did creating the veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Via Dathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the veil destroyed it. There were countless other marvels, all dependent on the presence of the Fade. All destroyed. Your legends are half right. We were immortal. It was not the arrival of humans that caused us to begin aging. It was me. The veil took everything from the elves, even themselves. You banished the false gods. You didn't kill them. You met Mithol, did you not? The first of my people do not die so easily. The Evanuris are banished forever, paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. You said that the Elven Gods went too far. What did they do that made you move against them? They killed Mithol. <laughs> Crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. I thought Mithal was one of the Evanuris. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. She protected them. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. The Evanuris were elven mages. How did they come to be remembered as gods? 
Slowly. It started with a war. War breeds fear. Fear breeds a desire for simplicity. Good and evil, right and wrong, chains of command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders. Then kings. Finally gods. The Avenuris. That's the past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My people fell for what I did to strike the Avenuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. I will save the Elven people, even if it means this world must die. Why does this world have to die for the Elves to return? A good question, but not one I will answer. You have always shown a thoughtfulness I respected. It would be too easy to tell you too much. I am not Corypheus. I take no joy in this. But the return of my people means the end of yours. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition, your Inquisition. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. With luck, they will return their focus to Devinta. That should give you a few years of relative peace. The Kunari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fen'Harel. I gave no orders. You led us to Skyhold. Corypheus should have died unlocking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. When you survived, I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Hence, Skyhold. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. Then I would claim the orb. I did not foresee a Devinta Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. What would have happened if Corypheus had died, and you'd recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the Veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the Elves. If you destroyed the Veil, wouldn't the False Gods be freed? I had plans. You'd murder countless people! Wouldn't you, to save your own? You must understand. I awoke in a world where the Veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. We aren't even people to you? Not at first. You showed me that I was wrong. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. You never cared about us. We were the means to an end. You were people, and you deserved better. Like all the rest I've used in one hopeless battle after another. What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization. And now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. It's not that simple. Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep. The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. 
The elven guard who led you to the Canari body? Who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel? Mine. Why bother disrupting the Kunari plot if you're going to destroy the world regardless? You have shown me that there is value in this world, Inquisitor. I take no joy in what I must do. Until that day comes, I would see those recovering from the breach free of the Kune. Why? Because I am not a monster. If they must die, I would rather they die in comfort. In any event, it is done. So you let us do your dirty work. The mistake was yours to fix, Inquisitor. You control the Illuvians now? Yes. You remember Briala from Halam Shiral? For a time, she controlled part of the labyrinth. One of my agents was supposed to take it from her, but he did not succeed. I had to override the magic personally. The Canari stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Illuvians are now mine. There's still the matter of the Anchor. It's getting worse. Yes. I'm sorry. And we are almost out of time. <laughs> the Mark will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. If I live, I'm coming to stop you. I know. Take my hand. I'm sorry. Live well, while time remains. <laughs> 